today I'm going to be reading the 10x rule. Like and subscribe. Phone cell. I don't know what if it... I don't know if it was because of what we were doing or because we kept our focus on what we wanted, but I think it had to be a combination of both. I hired my first PR firm, and even though it was a complete disappointment, I didn't give up because I knew it was important. When the second one didn't work out, I hired another one. We were undertaking a lot of projects simultaneously. They all took time, energy, money, and creativity, and they were all new to us. I had no way to gauge whether it was going to work or not. I was doing this all at a time when the economy was terrible. Everyone was contracting. My company and the economy at large was experiencing the greatest economic reduction I had seen in my lifetime. My clients were reducing employees by up to 40%. My best competitor cut his staff in half, and countless others literally shut their doors. Entire companies were collapsing, and even complete industries were at risk. Everyone was scared, but I kept one important point in mind. That the most successful expand when others get smaller. They take risks while others conserve. So rather than cut my staff or cut our expansion, I eliminated my own salary and took the money I normally paid myself and used it to fund 10x. So he had a lot of gold that they were working on. And even though sometimes what he did, it didn't do so good, he kept going because he knew that the goals were important. And so when the economy was bad, many people were shrinking or contracting their businesses. So, but Grant, he remembered, and this is something you should remember too, that during like hard financial times, when others are like contracting their business, you should be expanding. So instead of taking a sa his salary, he put it into his business. And, s and instead of cutting his employees, he kept them. So, Kopi Soup is a book written by me about a guy named Bob and how he found a delicious soup to eat. When he discovered the ingredients, he was shocked. And Copper Lost in Time is a book written by me about a dog named Copper and how he gets lost in the future and has to go back to the present. And as a kid, this is a book written by me and my brother about how kids can help their parents in their business. How, I mean, how kids can help in their parents' business. And Alien Stole My Homework 1 and 2 are both written by my brother Jaden, about a kid named Ned and how he stopped the aliens from stealing his homework in elementary school and in college. And these books are on Amazon, so you can buy them there. Okay, I hope you liked that. If you did, please like and subscribe. Bye!